Welcome back to the channel guys. You guys already know what we're going to be doing because of the thumbnail and the title and everything. Um, we're going to be making homemade silhouette decoys for goose hunting. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I made already made some probably about a year ago. Um, it was a couple months, but it was already in season. I was like, really wanted more decoys, but I didn't want to spend more money on to buy silhouettes. So I found a bunch of like just plywood at my house and you can obviously go out and buy a big sheet of actual 4x8 plywood and you could make, I think you can make a little over a dozen out of one plywood sheet, I can't remember for sure. Um, but I just have a bunch of little pieces now, I'm just gonna mix and match and make as many decoys out of it as I can. Um, I already made, uh, this is the feeder decoy, um, has a little bit of dirt on it. And then this is just the, whatever you want to call this one. Um, and I have three other head positions, so I have about five and a half dozen of silhouettes that I made. And then we're hopefully going to make two more in this video. Um, so I want to make uh, two more different head positions. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do for sure yet. I think I'm going to do kind of like a half feet or half like looking forward um, position. I don't even know what you call it, but with the first dozen and then the second dozen i'm probably gonna i'm not sure we'll figure that out once we get to the second dozen but for now uh i gotta get to making the pattern for the first dozen okay so what i'm gonna be doing for the first one or for to start the first dozen is i'm gonna put the uh a silhouette that i already made and i'm gonna trace the uh, just the main body of the uh silhouette and i'm just gonna use the same body shape and then i'm just gonna change the head position that's what i did with all the other ones um so i'm, I'm gonna trace the outside edge of uh the decoy and then after that i'm gonna slowly uh sketch out the head kind of the position that i want it and make it uh look proportional to the rest of the body um and just sketch it to the position i want erase it and uh, keep sketching, resketch until I have the position that I want and that looks nice. Now I finally have the uh, everything sketched out. I don't know if you guys can see. I have all my lines drawn out, and I have the head position kind of sketched out that I want. Um, and so I have everything sketched, and it looks uh, good when I hold it up, and it looks natural, and the head is uh, proportional to the body, and I think it looks good. So the next step is I have to cut it out on the bandsaw. Okay, here it is. This is the cutout for the next silhouette. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on, I'm going over here. Um, this is obviously the head, and then this is the main body. Um, here's the difference. I This is like the feeder, and then this is a little farther, and then this is the other one that sticks more in front. So, um, now that we have the main pattern cut out for this dozen, um, the power is a little short, so the uh, beak looks a little uh, short and cut off. That's because it is, but geese won't notice that. And on the other decoys, I will just sketch it out um, on each one the beak a little bit farther. Um, but for that spe specific please plywood, it wasn't uh, it wasn't big enough. So we got the pattern cut out. Now we have to trace 12 of these onto all of the plywood on the ground, and hopefully we can make it fit in real nice and use up as much plywood as we can. So let's get to tracing. So what I do is I line up. Uh, to the closest to the one corner as I can so I can fit as much on each plywood as I can Line it up just like that take your pencil and just run along the entire outside edge of your decoy And you're gonna want to do this for obviously every single one so that you know where to cut um, And then just get as many decoys as each out of each piece of plywood as you can obviously and then Yeah, so hopefully I can get three out of these plywood like this and then a bunch more um, but then I have to cut all these out, and then we'll get to painting. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the cutting out. I'm gonna trace these, and then I'll show you guys how to paint. <laughs>
So, I just cut these stakes. I have a point on the end, and then I have a slot right there, as you guys can see. And then I have two holes drilled for two screws to go in. So basically what happens is, I this is basically the center of the decoy, and I just line it up, and then the slot slides right on the decoy. Just like that, I push it on to where I want it, and then I put two screws in. And there we go. As you guys can see, that thing is secured in there, and then that just goes in the ground and holds your decoy. It looks pretty sick, and it's worked great last season, so it'll hopefully work great this season again. So, I hope you guys can hear me. It's not very windy out here, but here is just the regular decoy, whatever, with no paint on it. So first of all, what I want to do is, I should have brought an already painted one so I can kind of show you guys, but I'll just show you guys without that. So I just have regular, this is, you can get it pretty cheap at Walmart. It's like Rust-Oleum, you guys can read that. Um, but I always get the ultra matte in everything you can, get it as matte as you can, because you don't want it to shine, obviously. So shake it up real well. So first off what I'm going to do is, so the chest, and obviously I have a pattern for the back part where it's white, but the chest and right above the back feathers is where most of the white is. So for this I don't really use a pattern because I just kind of sprinkle it on, then I put the pattern on and cover the edges. So I take the white and I just kind of cover up the front just like that, make sure you get the edges, and then I kind of get it in the back there at the top just make sure it's covered good and then uh, that's the white so we gotta let that dry and then I'll show you guys the next well in case you guys didn't see what I painted um, I kind of reviewed the footage and saw that I kind of didn't really show it that great but this is where I painted I painted here and all the way up to the neck that obviously gets black and then so now I made this pattern um, and it's kind of exactly the shape of the body and it fits on there very nice. This paint's still a little bit wet, but it's dry enough that I can just lightly lay the pattern on. Um, I just kind of fit the pattern on. However, it fits best, just like that. Then I take the brown paint. This one's almost empty, but I think it'll be enough for this one. And I just paint the entire decoy. Make sure I get every spot so that it's not, um, obviously because if I cover this wood, it protects it from water and all moisture when it's out in the field and stuff. And obviously it looks like a goose then. So I just cover it, it doesn't have to be super thick. I just kind of give it a nice light coat and I take off the pattern. Make sure I hit up the bottom so that uh, that stuff's covered for sure. Hit up the top. And now you can see it's starting to take the goose, I guess, shape or look. Uh, as you guys can see, I sort of have the main brown and then I have the white and the white. This is what it's supposed to look like. Oh, well, this is what the decoy's gonna look like. You can see it's faded here, it has a black in the bottom. That's with all the different patterns. Right now, what the next step is we want to get this fade in here to make it like kind of faded, look like the feathers are faded together and not just like sharp edges as much. So, what I'm going to start off with is the same color as the main body, um, except I'm just not going to just spray on it. I'm going to hold it farther away and just kind of mist it on, um, and I'm just going to go like this and kind of fade that line just like that. As you can see, it just kind of fades into that, and then I'm going to go like this up here, too. I just kind of fade it in, just like that. Then, I take some tan. Obviously, goose don't have, like, just white, brown. They have, like, tan and a bunch of different colors, so... Um, if you look on a goose, the bottom, it's not just the front, the bottom kind of gets, uh, it kind of fades in. So, I get tan, and I kind of... I fade in the bottom a little bit. That was a little much there. 
because this can's not spraying with the crap, but I just kind of fade it in. That one's like garbage, but kind of makes so you guys can see it, but also spray it. Well, it's kind of faded like that. You can see it here. It's kind of faded. Um, and it's supposed to fade back in each other. I kind of got a glob the hair in there because this can kind of sucks right now. But if you have a full can, it's a lot easier. But that'll do for now. I'm going to kind of, kind of fix up here right here because I kind of oversprayed a little bit. This one was a lot better than the one I did in the video because, well, I kind of got my spray can working. But... So you can see it kind of fades in, everything's fade. There's no like super sharp lines because the main body I just want kind of to fade in. And then the next step is, I don't know if you guys can see this pattern, but it's kind of got a tail shape. Let me show you guys. You guys can see that's what the tail shape is. It fits right in there and it looks really good. So um, for the tail, you kind of want a defined line. You don't want it super faded. Um, because if you look on a goose, it's not faded halfway up their body, it's black. The tail feathers are pretty defined. So you just kind of want to make it as look as real as possible. So I made this according to my decoy. You can look up pictures online and just kind of sketch it out what it looks like and make sure and like paint it and make it look good. So I just kind of lay the pattern on just like that. Take your black spray paint. And then you just kind of give it a nice even coat. I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes right now, but once you got it painted, take off your pattern, and boom, it looks super good, and you can see it's starting to take form. Okay, so it was getting kind of dark, so I, it's obviously the next day, so you guys can actually see, but so if you guys can see, this is the black that we painted, everything's faded in kind of here and here, so now we have to paint the white in the back here, um, and then paint the head black we can do these two steps in one because they're not even close to each other so I have this pattern here for the black this is basically just a cardboard piece that I just made a random line and I just hold it up here and so it's just the feathers are just kind of it's no actual pattern it's just kind of there so I just made a bunch of different jagged lines and different decoys have different patterns just give it some variance I guess so just hold that there Make sure you get all the edges. Give that head a nice even coat. And there you are. Looks phenomenal. So, I don't know if you guys could see that, but that's what the head looks like. Nice even coat. Actually, I could put a little bit more up here. Make sure the top is good. Then, I'm gonna do the back end. So. I have this pattern, which is basically, this just goes on the stake, so it kind of holds it in place. Just pops on there, and then the back kind of fits on there just like that, and it kind of holds it in place. And then you just spray that, and it gives that that nice uh, pattern of the back. So I'm gonna get the white, make sure that's on there real good. Position that how I want it. And then, so I'm gonna take this, and I'm just gonna give it a nice, even coat just like that make sure I hit the bottom edge finish it off take it off and boom I kind of sprayed underneath it so it's kind of faded there so it's not as sharp as I'd want it um, but getting the Sun here as so you guys can see looks pretty phenomenal okay so the next step is to paint right here on this goose they on their black head they have the white spot on their head so I made a little pattern that pattern goes right there and then you spray it on so I just kind of I don't know if you guys can see this with the camera angle but I lay it on there as best I can just kind of balance it there and just give it a coat and that's what it looks like super good super clean so that's the mark and then this this pattern took me forever to make um 
as you guys can see it looks like feathers so this one lays on just like that I just kind of center it as best I can then I have some where are they at here just some pieces of wood so the overspray doesn't hit the rest of the goose and make it look all crusty so I just kind of lay it over the edges cover everything up that was already painted and then I, I don't give it this a super saw because I don't want them like super super defined I just want them a light so I just kind of give it a light dusting make sure it shows up but not super dark and I take this off and boom look at that now you got feathers Got all the feathers and that's one side done. Actually no, I still gotta paint the steak black. But other than that, it's completely done. I have them all set out. I have actually, I only have one dozen out. I grabbed, I have, no I have more than a dozen. I have like 14 of them out. I grabbed two of each uh, dozen that I have. Um, so each dozen is a different head position. So we have seven different head positions and 14 decoys total. Take a look. That is what they look like. I think they look phenomenal. Like if I walk around, I think they look so good. They turn out so epic. Obviously, um, five of those dozens I already made and then I made two more dozens, so. I think they look really good and they'll definitely bring in some geese. They did last year, I'm sure they will again this year. I'm pretty excited for uh, goose season, duck season, honestly any hunting season, um, I hunt a bunch of different stuff. Actually, honestly, as much as I can jam into my uh, schedule, so um, those videos should be coming up soon. Um, pretty excited. Um, these, if you can see on the decoys, uh, I even put like a pattern on them. Uh, you guys saw when I painted that on the little uh, feathers. Um, outline that I made they're really cool they look super detailed and um, yeah they turned out awesome um, thank you guys so much for tuning in I hope you guys enjoyed these things are amazing I cannot be happier of how they turned out um, it takes a while so if you're just trying to slap one together the night before a hunt because you need a couple more decoys then this is definitely not your way to go because these took me like a week to make for two dozen the five dozen took me like two and a half weeks working on them every single night after work so it takes a while but once they're done it's super rewarding and they're super epic so i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for tuning in um i hope you guys hope this helped you guys maybe make your own or just entertainment for if you don't want to make any or whatever um i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll catch you guys on the next one